This road is a 23 kilometer road uh, which spans from Domi through Brekusu to Ketasi. It's been in a very deplorable state for a very long time. On the city newsroom, we are looking at the impact of the road on motorists. I will engage the motorists and ask them what exactly their concerns are concerning the bad nature of this road. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's a bad uh, distance. It's very, very bad. Since 10 years ago, I've been working on this road. And the road is very bad up to today. They will just come and shape it, reshape it, reshape it up to today. They are not doing anything about it. And we have complained for long. And now I heard the Minister of Road, in agreement with Kuwait government, sign a contract that they will start this month. So we are hoping to see whether they will fix it. Uh, that, I'm, I'm using this, uh, this very bit. Okay. And this is why I work. About 50, 54 weeks ago, I spent over 8,000 on it. 8,000? Yes. 54 weeks ago. That is one, and one year, two weeks or so. Yeah. I spent over 8,000 on this car. 8,000 doing what? Maintenance. Shocks. A whole lot of things. The same applies to other drivers too. Sometimes you go to shop two weeks, uh, a week two times or three times and you can be going, moving on the road and you see a, a, a stone cut your tire into two and it cannot be fixed again. You have to buy another one. Yes, that's what we have been going through. The expectation of the driver is that we need a quota, not just reshipping those kind of things, like format things. We need a quota because at times they will just come and reship it and leave it for, for so many months. Like last three months, they didn't do anything about it. And you know, it started raining uh, from May. So it made the, 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 the road bad. You can't do anything about it. So we are, we are, our expectation is that let the contractor fix the road proper, well, and uh, quota it. Maintenance and then our engine. Because of the dust, very soon then your engine's off. You have to get another engine. These are the challenges that we are facing. And you also forsake. Yeah, because of the dust. So these are the challenges that we are facing. But now that uh, we heard that they, they have given it to a contract, uh, we pray that they will do and do it well, so that it will last. And some of the cowardness, if they give you a car, and the moment that uh, they hear or they saw the car in Brekusu Road, then they take their car. With the condition of the road, it's too bad. Me, myself, driving on the road from Kwabenya to here, Every month, I have, uh, I'll, 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 be, I'll get cold. Every month, with the dust, it's too much. We can't stand it. And you see car here, with your tie. All the time, you, you get problems with your tie. Uh, the shocks, ball joints. The dust will enter into the car. It's, 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 it's hell. That's why we, we, we are praying for them to finish. They said they are coming to start the road. They should finish and finish well. Not that they will come and just uh, uh, grade it and leave it and go away. We are praying with them. They should finish and finish well. That is, that is, that is our, 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 our wish. This, it, this road has been like this for how long? Oh, so, so many years. Let's say 16, 15 years ago. Wow. Mm. Nothing has been done about it. No, 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 no. They only come and then grade it and then they will, they will, they will, they will go away. Our shocks, you need to be changing your shocks. Aside that, you need to be buying new ties. One time, one of the ties cut uh, deep. Uh, the, the stone cut deep into Whoa. our tie, and we have to change the tie. It's been happening each and every time. And when you speak to the authorities, they, they keep on telling you, oh, in June, we'll do it. We don't know which June we'll, they'll finish this road. Honorable OBI Moa promised us some, uh, last year that by June, they'll do this road. It's, it's more than a year now. No one has come and to this. They, they've awarded the contract to Sky, uh, First Sky, and the contractor is on site. They keep on saying that, but we've not seen anyone doing this road. He's up there. What, what, what would you like to see from the contractor this time around? We want, we want to see action. We want to see them on the road, starting with their gutters. Then they should come and tie the road. That's what we want to see. So uh, normally, what they do is that they'll come and they'll come and grade the road. When it's uh, getting to elections, 
Then after that, then they go back. They go to sleep. They tell us that they've awarded the contract to so so and so. As you also mentioned, a name of a contractor. Last year they mentioned a different contractor. Today you are telling me of a contractor. Now, what's happening is that they tell you this so so and so contractor is coming. The following year they come and tell you another contractor is coming. So we don't know which contractor is doing this job. I appeal to the people that if you talk to the minister of road, if he has awarded the contract, truly he should come. Let's see, and let them start the, the gutters first. Look at this side of the road too. It's it's so bad. It's terrible. And because of that, a lot of people don't want to come here. We don't, we don't get any developmental uh, projects. It's like we are cut off. Students and management of the Ashasi University, which is along the Dom Ketasi Road, bear the brunt of the deplorable nature of the 23-kilometer uh, stretch. I'm here at the institution to speak to the Director of Communications, Ebenezer Bachman, to tell me the impact, the bad nature of the road is having on them. The difficulty has been, you know, all our employees, faculty, staff, um, you know, everyone that works here commutes on, on this road to, to come to Oshese. And I think generally trying to um, work, you know, as an institution, teaching students, um, faculty and staff com commuting both ways can be really, uh, I think, draining. But uh, I think more critically, it, it, it's made it really hard to engage with the world outside of Oshese. Because if you're trying to invite, you know, resource people, experts, um, other academics to come share knowledge, work with us, partner, it's really hard for people to make the journey up to Oshese. And so we've been grappling with that over the last um, um, decade or so and um, learning that the, the road is being prior prioritized as a project um, to be finished over the next 24 months. Uh, I think most of us are really looking forward to it. Um, it's, it's been a conversation that's been happening uh, for several years. We've had a few contractors who, who have started and have been unable to finish. Um, but, but I think we are, we are, we are hopeful that um, this time the com com commitment will be uh, much more firm. Uh, I think we've seen the contractor already begin some, some work and we're hoping that um, it's, 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 it's going to be seen through. The Minister of Roads and Highways, Kwesi Amwakwata, on July 6, 2022, signed a contract with First Sky Limited, a local construction company in Accra, to rehabilitate the 23-kilometer Dom Ketasi Road. Works are expected to fully begin in August 2022. People who reside in communities along the Domi Ketasi Road and also motorists who ply on the stretch want the contractor to work within shadow in completing the deplorable road. For City News, my name is Philip Ni Latte.